Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and we are going to fly a little bit to the MiG 27K guys. So is it better, that's the question that I wanted to ask you guys, is it better than the SU-25T for CAS? And I really am starting to think that it is. And you will see why. Um, first of all, uh, the first match that we did here, we are using laser guided stuff, okay, uh, normally. Uh, and you will see why as well. Um, the first thing that I wanted to say is that there is two possibilities for you to actually use these. Uh, the laser guided bombs and the laser guided missiles, right? Uh, I still prefer to use the laser stuff above the TV because you can actually do this. Um, just maintain a properly good laser you know, designation onto the target. Yes, the TV will lock onto the vehicle, but one smoke, one tree in the middle, one everything that can happen will make you lose the target. And the laser, you can actually guide it to the target. But it depends on the aircraft. And that's where the second thing that I was talking about comes. The MiG-27 is perfect because it has the performance. The, the Kaida system over here, which is a very, very, very modern... Um, not very, very modern, but it is a modern TV system, which is, you know, very similar to other TV systems. It doesn't have anything... Uh, like incredible out of it um, but it is it has a very good zoom okay and the aircraft itself has a lot of performance the MiG-27 has a lot of performance on it which means that you can actually climb and do what I am doing right here I can actually just attack people from above you can actually deploy your weapons from above the coverage of the normal AA systems and that means that you are basically invisible why isn't that really possible with the SU-25T? Because you have kind of a problem with the speed. Not with the speed itself, and the Kaida system is sometimes doing that, which is quite odd. But uh, the SU-25 just doesn't have the speed, it doesn't have the energy to actually climb, like the MiG-27s do. So this is one of the reasons why I think the MiG-27 can be more effective than the SU-25, because it's more survivable due to its performance. You can climb a lot. I'm being quite aggressive in all these matches that I will show to you, and I'm still not getting killed when I'm flying high. Normally, I am just get killed when I get greedy a little bit and get and want to just uh, get closer to the targets, right? So it is pretty interesting, right? You can see this, I mean, I'm three and a half kilometers away, Nobody sees me here. No AA system tried to actually destroy me. No aircraft is seeing me. I just can deploy my bombs fairly easy with a very, very, you know, safe position. From a very, very safe position. And the SU-25 would just be down a little bit downwards on the altitude. And with that, it would be a little bit more susceptible to getting shot by missiles from AA systems. You know, the cones of detection of the AA systems. So the MiG-27 really, really shines on that kind of situation. And here we have another example using laser-guided ammunition. I actually did a mistake on the custom loadout. I actually uh, added three KH-25 MLs and one the 29 L, you know. So I wanted two uh, 29 Ls, but I eventually just got it wrong. And you can see it right here. I mean, I'm kind of high, but not really that high. I find the target, and then I fire the missile, and then I just maintain a level flight. No AA system, unless he's actually looking for me, will see me. It's really, really hard to see aircraft that are just flying with, like, at these altitudes. And it's not that high even, but it really, really is effective, as you see right there. So, um, yeah, the SU-25, you would be more on the cone, and you would be dead. So, there's the point of weapons as well. The SU-25T has a very, very good weapon, which is the Vikir, right? The Vikir is amazing. But, as I said, the Vikir, because of the performance of this SU-25, it needs to be basically shot on a more, you know, horizontal way. As you see over here, another shot, another kill with the KH-25. And the Vikir... I don't know, guys. It has less HE power. It's more of a heat, tending heat kind of round. 
and you will sometimes just hit the target, something that these KH-25s don't do. The SU-25, although it can actually use the KH-25s as well, uh, because of that performance issue that I told you guys compared to the MiG-27, it is not, just not the same. Look at this. The SU-25 normally wouldn't be able to do this. I managed to actually avoid the missile uh, that he fired on me. I actually fired on the missile before I go defensive. I went defensive a little bit, made the missile miss, and then eventually got him uh, again. So it really, really is an amazing aircraft just because of its performance. And the weapon systems, yes, they are a little bit, you know, lacking behind in the sense of number of missiles and stuff. As I said, the SU-25 has the Vikir, which is a, I mean, an amazing missile. But uh, even like with the 16 missiles that it has, you will not be able to employ them fully normally um, as safely as this aircraft. And that's why I think even though the MiG-27K has less weapons, it is more effective deploying them just because of that performance. It is a MiG-23, you know, so it's, it's very good on the performance. So it's always, always a very, very effective aircraft. And quite, to be honest, I'm preferring to actually still fly the MiG-27 than the actual SU-25, which is... It says a lot about the MiG-27, right? So, yeah, but nonetheless, as you see, the gameplays are going to be very much the same. The tactic that I normally use is side climb with the MiG-27, as you see, at least 5,000, 4,000 and something, 5,000. The optimal condition would be 7,000 plus, you know. Uh, but if you are, I mean, in this match, for example, our team was just destroying the enemy team. So... It was okay to be a little bit more aggressive on the flying. And that that's the thing that you have to worry about uh, whenever you are flying CAS in general, right? Uh, it depends on the way that your team is or not, right? Uh, and the SU-25, again, I mean, it is an amazing aircraft, but it will have less, uh, we will have more problems dealing with that. It's not even that, I mean, you can still do the same, but it will take a lot more time to actually get to the altitudes that I'm talking about here. So to get to 5,000 meters, for example, in an SU-25, it would take a long time. So it's something that you have to like consider, right? Because the matches are, in my particular opinion, kind of too short even for some of the, the ways that everything is going on, right? So um, if you don't actually respond quickly in a MiG-27, in an aircraft, uh, you will be kind of like not having a lot of time to actually deal with targets, which is quite... Uh, it, sh it says a lot about the, the, the size of the, the match that we normally have in tanks. And as you see, even being very aggressive as, as this, I can just maintain a very, very good aggressive position and destroy these uh, AA systems. It is really a sniper, this aircraft. And it can destroy the whole team if you are good enough. I'm not good enough, so... The max that I destroyed was four or five things, but if you know what you're doing, man, uh, you can actually kill like six, eight tanks even, if you're really, really careful with it and be a little bit less aggressive than I was. So it's something to really, like if you are choosing a CAS aircraft, they're both the same BR, and even though yes, the SU-25T is a very interesting aircraft, it's a new aircraft, everybody wants to fly it, Consider just keeping the MiG-27. Uh, it's just a very, very, very good aircraft. He's, here's the last match that we did. Let's just comment on it. You already know my opinion on these aircraft. Again, side climb very high, at least 6,000 meters. And then I found a target. Was too far away, so I was just trying to get a proper lock on the designator here. As you see, a little bit too far away. Then we have a proper laser launch. I launch the missile, then I um, make the aircraft go in a level fight, and then I return to the camera to actually lock. I was trying to lock these targets, but the Kaida system is very weird right now. It's just bugging a lot. So I was just manually um, guiding these missiles. So as you see, still maintaining a fairly good altitude. Nobody saw me. The target just disappeared, basically. So yeah, and especially with the KH-29L, it's just amazing, man. Um, as I said, not that you know you can't do this with the SU-25, but it's just that the MiG-27 is a little bit more effective 
in my opinion, than it. And always try to spot people for whoever is doing cast because it really, really does help. Same thing, fire the missile, level flight, put the afterburner down and maintain it on the target, as you see. Very easy to find it, even though we don't have a th uh, thermal system, it is pretty easy to find targets. Still maintaining the same altitude, almost two targets already down. Then I gain a little bit more altitude. As I said, I'm being very aggressive over here, over here not going far away from the, the battlefield. If an AA system wanted me dead, I was probably going to be dying, right? But there wasn't any one here, so I just decided to maintain it. Same thing, lock it up, fire the missile, level flight, and then I change the, to the Kaida system again. Maintain the radar, the laser lock there, and it's done. And to be honest, at the end of the day, I'm preferring to use the laser guided missiles instead of the bombs even, because they get there much quicker. So having less time for you to actually, you know, miss anything like that. Uh, the plus part about the bombs is that they cost a little bit less to spawn. So it's just not that much, but still. An AA system there. Should have just went for it, but he eventually got killed. Same strategy as you see. Fire the missile and then level flight and done the last missile kill that i got so as you see very effective i got four mbts man with one spawn with a mig 27 and i wasn't even using the extra fobs uh it is debatable if you want to use more bombs you can still take like three bombs more two and 250 or even 500 and you can even use your cannon like you're going to see right here nobody was looking at me I should have just waited for the other one as well. But yeah, guys, a gun kill. Very, very good kill. And just, I mean, five MBTs destroyed very easily by these aircraft. It's so easy to destroy it. And I must admit, maybe I need to play more of the other CAS aircraft. But I am really considering this one of the best CAS aircraft in the game. I wouldn't say the best because there are stuff that uses you know, TV guided stuff and uh, not TV guided stuff, uh, thermals and stuff. So you really need to be careful with that. Um, you know, casts that are that have that are better in general, you know, they're easier to find targets and stuff. Uh, like for example, the Mirai 2000 uh, 5F and the D variant and the Tornado Gear 1 is really good at right now at casts with the guided bombs and thermals as well. So I, I don't know if it's the best out there. But it's indeed very, very, very effective. So if you see one of these flying, man, and you are on the opposite team, shoot them down. They can destroy your team. So, yeah, with the correct piloting, right? Not that I was doing the, that, but still. But anyway, guys, this is it. I'm going to end up dying. Being, I mean, it was too aggressive. I should have just went for RTB, but still. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. And let me know if you want to see more of this content. Bye.